My name is C. Smith, this is DQA Weekly, and this week I'm going to be answering Randy Haas of YouTube's question of what kind of PCI Express accessories go into each of the X16, X8, X4, and X1 slots made available by motherboard manufacturers all over the world, especially for the last few generations. And this does include anything, whether it be PCI Express Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, and please do not be confused. You can plug anything you want that's PCI Express into any PCI Express slot where it physically does fit inside. It's kind of like USB, but for your motherboard and not the outside of your computer. And before we go into anything else, for those who are fans of my show that like the premise of my show, like the fact that I try to help as much as possible those that are new to the technology, you can go to patreon.com slash TQA weekly where you can become a patron of the show where you help me out fund the show so I can do things such as build better sets, get better green screens and better cameras, even buy the hardware that I can use to demonstrate how technology works. And you can do this by visiting tqaweekly.com and go to the support us page, or you can go to patreon.com slash tqaweekly and the links are down below for anyone watching on YouTube. So we're gonna be answering the question that Randy Oss had of which different types of accessories are available for each of the different types of connection slots. And I would like to point out that first of all, the X16 slot is a dead giveaway. It's for your graphics cards. For those who didn't already know, the X8 slot is usually reserved for SLI and Crossfire. However, like I said, don't be confused. You can use it for anything else. So of course the X8 slot is available for anything that you want. Now we're gonna skip X4 because it's got something a little bit more special with it and go with the X1 slot for PCI Express because it actually does more on your main board because more companies will design products for the X1 PCI Express slot. Things such as sound cards, Wi-Fi cards, LAN cards, USB controllers for 2, 3, and 3.1. You also have some lower end PCI Express SSD cards that will plug into this. And of course, you also have RAID controllers, which allow you for, to expand the number of connections available on your motherboard. Now the X4 slot, there are two different types of connections that you can get as a consumer that would allow you to make your computer a little bit more kick-ass. You A, have possibility of using LAN cards, but we're talking things such as the Intel Gigabit quad port solution. So that allows you to take the connection from your computer and share it to four other devices or just make a computer a freaking server. Or you've got the M N. VME drive, so one of the fastest SSD drives on the market. There are two ways for this thing to connect. I'm specifically liking the one where you actually just plug it in like you would a sound card or a graphics card, and it takes advantage directly of the PCI Express X4 slot. It is a clean solution that doesn't take that much space. However, there is another way of connecting them and it's a drive that looks like an SSD and I don't like this solution as much because it takes a cable that connects into something like an M.2 drive, which is an adapter that you plug into the M.2 connection port of your main board, which is probably gonna have a four by four connection in that case in order to actually take advantage of the full speed of the NVMe drive, or it's gonna go into a card that plugs into the X4 slot of your motherboard. So in this case, it's not as glorious as the actual, just the card that plugs into the PCI Express. X4 slot. So yeah, that is everything available for the consumer. If you wanted anything else, you're gonna have to make friends with companies so that you can get a hold of their server grade hardware that can plug into so many different other kinds of PCI Express slots. By the way, they don't stop at 16, they go all the way up to X32. So that just keep that in mind. There is a lot of hardware that you can get for servers that you can kind of plug into your computers if you wanted to, but that's everything. So for those who didn't already hear the beginning of my show, you can go to patreon.com slash TQA weekly to help me fund this show and make it better. You can always go to TQA weekly to interact with me and others on the show, find out how to subscribe, how to fund us, and of course, how to contact me directly so that you can share your questions with me as well. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed, do so down below if you're on YouTube and have a great day.